Hello, fam. Ooh, I'm a little dark. Hold on. Hold on. Let me put, let's see if this works. Oh, it's coming from that way. <laughs> Get comfortable, fam. Don't mind me while I adjust, oh, my lighting just a little bit. Just a little bit because we need a little bit of light. That's probably too much. Okay. Hey, Casey. Hi, Toya. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Pam. I saw Pam in here. Amazing. Hi, Emily. What's going on? Can you hear me okay? Let me know if all is good. We are starting off our chat, 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 chat with our stretch, chitty, stretch, stretch. And I just remembered I got to get my iPad because I got to see what's going on since I'll be here <laughs> and the phone's over there and I can't see the comments. But something strange happened when we were chatting on Wednesday. All of a sudden, the chat just stopped working. And it was like I couldn't get anything on the phone, but it continued working on the iPad. So I'm going to put that there. I didn't want to make anything body part specific today. I just wanted to give you different tools you can use for your own stretching routine, giving different variations, standing, seated, yeah? Oh, amazing. Okay, cool. <laughs> Toya ate dinner so she won't get distracted. That's a good plan. Hi, Martha. Hi, Taya. Jessalyn, what's going on, Allie? Dawn, the fam is here. Laura, hi, Cece, what's going on? Yes, Pam, it's Lori's Life is here. What's going on, girlfriend? Check out Lori's Life channel. I have her link down below. I try to make sure I remember everyone who joined the chat so I could put their channel link down below. Yeah? In terms of what you need, you don't need everything per se. If you happen to have a strap, great. If you happen to have blocks, great. Blanket, great. I want to show you a bunch of different things. This is very important to know. If I'm showing you something that you are physically unable to do, then you don't do it. If you're physically able to do so, you can try it. But again, I'm going to give you different variations so we can all participate, yeah? Okay, hey Mo! Brown girl Bella Shannon B is here. Her channel's linked down below. How are you, my love? Y is she really? Oh my gosh, Lori is, okay. First of all, we'll start the stretch soon. But, oh yes, and our girl Kate the Great Beauty is celebrating 15K. Yes, I have to send her a text. Oh, no worries. And also, uh, Pat is dropping decadence on Monday, okay? And Lori, where are these Pat master classes? So we have a lot of things to talk about, okay, fam? We got a lot to talk about. But first, we got to get moving and grooving, okay? So if you are seated in some capacity, shoulder circles, anything circular is very helpful, yes? Oh, my gosh. Decadence is coming. Decadence is coming all the way. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, stand by, fam. I'm going to drop you my Spotify link. So if, if you wanted, <laughs> if you wanted to uh, listen to some tunes while we're doing the shoulder circles, get it, paste, send. Open and close, chest wide, chest in. Hi, Ronnie. What's going on? I was told that Athena has the phone and 
Tanya and I are on standby to see what she got. Otherwise, we can't see what she got in the mail today. <sighs> Anita, you know what? I know it's an unpopular opinion. I think Anita says that she thinks is the least decadence is the least prettiest. I can understand that because it's all satin shades. I think it's the re I think it's the whole point that it was the one that's hardest to get. You know what I mean? But I do think that formula is the easiest to use out of all of Pat's formulas, however. If you if you want to do the standing fam, arms long and wide, chest open and close. Standing version, the arms are chest height, shoulder height. You could even bend and push. You could do the same thing seated if you'd like. I'm gonna move this. Okay, you could pull and curl, yes? If you wanna do this with a strap or even a TheraBand, I would say shoulder width, pull and push. Emily says that she loves the look of decadence, but know that she'll never use it. I get that. It's, it's a lot of color. Absolutely. See if you could also get the rib cage moving as well, fam. Now, any shoulder issues in the room, I would widen the strap if you happen to have one. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Lift and curl, or rather pull and curl. I'm not going all the way back, right? Because if you have really bad shoulder extension, this isn't happening, right? But if you want just a little bit, I would say maybe strap to around forehead height and then curl from there. Leah, the amount of people they, that try and message me during Super She classes, I'm half tempted to go to go get you to tell them. I'm <laughs> that is too funny. It's like, it's like, I'm busy. I'm busy. Allie says she bought the Star Wars Decadence for a friend, and now I have two of them. Hi, you know, and does the Decadence palette look like it's gold in the front standing version? Lift and curl, cool, okay. Whatever one of those, four more. Shandy, I agree, the holiday quads were beautiful. Indida confirms that it is gold. Sophia woke up with a weird sharp pain off the center of my back. I feel this, Sophia, we gotta get it moving and grooving. Two more of the strappies. Okay, no more strap. Hand behind, thumbs to the center of your back and just jostle. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your shoulders, did it, did it. Shake your shoulders. I would love to tune into a live master class from Pat. You know what I'm saying? I wanna know. I want to know what she's doing. Who has been listening to JoJo's new album? You guys. Toya kindly reminded me this morning. I could have, I didn't want to listen to it last night. We're still Jocelyn because I would have been too hyped to go to bed. But oh my God. JoJo's new album? It's rude. It's so good. Oh! Oh, Indita, I'm so happy to hear that. Listen, for someone who has a name that's always pronounced wrong, <laughs> people say Alicia because my name is spelled just like Alicia Keys, and typically it is said like that here in the States, but it's Alicia. So that's why I insist on using Kinky Sweat because, I mean, there's so many Alicias out there, and I feel anytime you type Kinky Sweat next to a makeup product, I just come up. So it's for search optimization purposes. 
that I insist on using Kinky Sweat instead of my actual name because people never say it right anyway, and which is fine, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? T is here. Sophia, I know. I only knew JoJo was coming out knee lifts with new music because ever since I knew about her story in having that battle with her record label, we're talking about JoJo if you're just coming in the chat. <sighs> Nappy headed her hoba is here. Auntie T is here, I believe. Is she's like my cousin on the west side, on the west coast. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, seated, ver seated version. If you can, if you're not lifting legs, hinge forward, hinge back, or hip back, hip forward. Okay, the reason why this is a version of this is technically you are flexing your hip like you would if, if lifting the knee, except you're bringing your torso to your thigh as opposed to the thigh to the torso. So yes, the movement, the movement's the same technically, but it's just from a different angle, cool? So again, here or here or here. Hi, Audra! What, it was Audra's birthday two days ago, wasn't it? We celebrated on live with Emily Hanhan. Way was a blast. Iris, yes, I am 5'5". Five five. Good guess. How'd you know? We're doing lifts. If you're standing and doing lifts, you could morph these into circles. If you want to add a little squat in between, no, no pressure, fam. No pressure. Lift. Make sure booty, I know, sorry, sloppy booty, sorry, it's not that channel. Hip back, no knees forward. Hip back, if you're seated. Pelvic circle, okay? Here we go. Yeah, oh my good, I just, Kelly, it is so funny that YouTube is flagging your comment. I don't know what words they thought you were saying that were not okay. <laughs> Gosh, oh, it's happy birthday, Audra belated. Our girl Audra, say hi to Bo for me. Was it last night? My goodness, I forgot. The days are blurred. Audra, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, it was like two days ago. No, it was last night. I remember because I was finishing up my Denona's Dar Denona Darlings collab that I did with the ladies. If you're standing and you're tired, just take a rest. Take a rest. If you want to sit down and pelvic circle instead, make sure you reverse. Do these movements help with belly fat? Unfortunately, they don't. Anything fat related is nutrition unfortunately, but it does help with pain if you feel pain or tightness. And also this will directly help with better movement in your strength training because the more space you can recruit, the deeper your squat, the deeper your lunge, the more muscles can work, therefore the muscles can burn more because muscles burn more at rest. That's why it's always important that you build muscle. Oh, Iris, yes, sugar, sugar and, and refined flour is what does it. And I have to say, I'm, I'm trying my best to not fall into that pit again, and I do see and feel a difference, for sure. Now, do not be alarmed. This is our last smooth of the chat. Well, we got like 15 minutes. What am I saying? If you want to do something lungy, I'm going to lower this a little bit. If you want to do something lungy, fam, make sure you got something on one knee. One knee on the pad, other foot forward, hip back, and forward. 
okay? If you want to do this standing and you have a chair, one foot forward, the other foot back. If seated, uh, I would say it's the same thing like we did, forward and back. So you couldn't, you, it's not unilateral, it's bilateral, but you can still get your pelvic movements in, okay? I'll meet you down if you're on the ground. Here we go. Oh! Are we talking about sugar alternatives? So this is a very, very unpopular opinion, and, and actually T and I were talking about this in her chat. It's not calories in, calories out. It's not. As many times people tell us that, and I'll tell you why. Your body does not operate on calories. It operates on hormones. And your hormones determine how certain foods are metabolized, okay? And unfortunately, if you eat sugar, sugar gets metabolized as fat. And fat is not the body's preferred energy source. The preferred energy source for the body, let's switch sides if you're on one, is glycogen. Glycogen, the cells eat it up. So think of your, and this is all from Jace, Dr. Jason Fung, by the way. Think of your body as a two-compartmentalized system, right? You don't just eat calories and all the calories burn. Hi, Susie, what's up? So happy to have you. How's your rib cage, right? You have the fridge, which is your glycogen, and you have the freezer, that's your fat. Your body just doesn't go to the freezer. It's because it's not the, its preferred energy source. And when your insulin is high or you're insulin resistant, your body's just gonna burn glycogen and ignore the fat, despite the fact that it might have a lot of it for energy. If your insulin is high, your body's not gonna recognize that and just go to the fridge. If you wanted to go to the freezer, then yes, intermittent fasting or eliminating as many refined sugar and refined carbs, not carbs entirely because carbs also include fruits and vegetables. Yes, Lou, I, I watch Autumn Bates as well. And she's one of the unfortunate few that also believes in, not believes in calories in, calories out. Is, is very hard, it's a very hard concept to grasp because I used to be like that. If you're still on all fours, wrist stretch, hands and knees. If you're seated, palms up, fingers down, fingers up without bending the elbows. If on all fours, fingertips in, close to the knees, tuck the toes, hips back, hips forward. Indira, Alicia, you're so right. I have a hormonal imbalance, so I have to be careful what I eat. So no refined sugars and the carbs just eating naturally less box items. Yeah, it's, it's tough because I used to just think, oh, you know, I'm going to burn it later. Depending on what you eat, that certain food item might not just be burned. It could just be stored and not used at all, which is why the whole thing about uh, insulin is vital in terms of burning fat because people when they say weight loss is really fat loss because you don't want to lose your muscle if you want to go that route but the reason why i think of not eating refined sugar turn the tops of your hand down and flip back up is it's just not great like i notice ever since quarantine started I've been eating a lot less refined sugar and drinking apple cider vinegar every day and taking vitamins. My allergies have been in check, which is crazy. For this time of year, and I think because my gut health is a lot better. Yes, our girl Susan Mayfield was unfortunately in a truck accident and 
I hope that she gets a lot better. So be careful, Susan. We're here for you, babe. <sighs> Kim, I take vitamins from Thorn, and um, it's here. Let me. <laughs> this is not sponsored. <laughs> I take these. This is a great company. Again, not sponsored. My nail polish matches. Ugh, carefully come up from all fours. If you're on there, I believe in supplements because, friends, the earth is stripped. It got nothing left for us, okay? Nothing left to give these fruits and vegetables. And also, the environment that we live in is very high stress. Pollutants, uh, cell service, just everything. We need more to offset, to mitigate the effects of the environment that we live in, which again, high stress. You don't need vitamins if you live in an area where there's clean water, untouched soil, and you grow your own stuff. But that is not the case, so that's why I take vitamins. How are we feeling? Whew. Iris, I take vital proteins as well. Kim, I just do a tablespoon of ap apple cider vinegar after like twice a day with some vitamin D drops. Oh, Molly, so I'm starting from scratch. Out of shape, overweight, allergies, where should I start? I would say start, depending on where you are, and if you're taking any medication or anything like that, I am not, first of all, disclaimer, disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical professional. I am only a fit professional that knows a little bit about nutrition. But I would say if you eat throughout the day, try to do a 12, at least start with a 12-hour break between your last meal and the next meal next day. Yes, the snacks, the snacks kill. And the only reason why snacks kill is because depending on the snack also will raise your insulin levels. And anytime your insulin gets stimulated, that signals your body to store. We don't want to store, we want to burn. Because if you think back in the dizzy, you eat to store because you didn't know where you were going to get your next meal. So if it was going to be one day, two days, three days, you had that to burn, to convert to energy. Yes, we got to fix Susie's rib. And Susie, you call me. Susie has a great team on her side. She has a chiropractor and I believe a physical therapist. So. But yes, we, I love this nutrition talk. Did we do all the things? Did we do all the things? I think we did good today, fam. I don't want to overwhelm you. I just, I just do a little bit every Friday. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing, though, a free shoulder class live tomorrow on the Stretch It app. Half hour, 2 p.m. Shoulder stretching. And then I'm doing my own class on Zoom tomorrow at 11. If you want to join, this is no pressure at all. If you want to take it, you can email me and I could send you the Zoom leak and the suggested donation is 10 bucks. Suggested. If you're totally broke, come through. Whatever you like to do and we'll make it happen. But it's, it's my signature class that I usually teach at Equinox is body weight training, all levels, modifiable. You'll see some of my Equinox fam, so they're coming through tomorrow, so I'm really excited to see them. Yes! Oof. Oof. Don't mind me, I'm just fixed. There we go. That's better. Here we go. Lou, 
The area we live in, we're able to find local farmers for almost half of our food that give their fields rest every other year to allow the soil to become fertile. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Amazing. I love that. Yes, I drink the, the Bragg's brand for apple cider vinegar. So, Mama Pat's Decadence is coming on Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard, I believe. Joe's album's new, oh my God, let me drop Joe's, Joe Joe's new album link. It's so good. It's like R&B. It's good R&B, like new age R&B. Oh, it's, it's what I didn't think I needed, but I do. And there's a song on there, Come Back. That is a sexy song. Ooh, I was not ready for Come Back. I was like, JoJo. I listened to that two times in a row. <laughs> like a hussy, as she would say. Like a hussy. Ah, amazing. I've been listening to it all day. And believe it or not, JoJo started singing Aretha Franklin, Anita Baker. I mean, she considered herself to be an R&B soul singer. And when she got signed to Atlantic, I think that was the record label that totally screwed her over. I could be wrong about that. They wanted her to be pop. Get out right now, it's the end of you and me. And she sang it because, you know, when you're young and you get signed, you do what the record label wants you to do. Lori said that Pat's clap masterclass will be coming soon. Okay, great. We'll be on. Watch for that. So when her when her record, her label fell under, but she was not allowed to release new music, she still released new music. A lot of it's on SoundCloud, but she couldn't get paid for it. And this album is like, I felt all, everything she had wanted to do for that whole time, she just let her rip. She just let her rip, and I was like, oh, my goodness, this is, this is the JoJo that I love. I love. Wayne's Lippies. Yes, yeah, Siobhan. Thank you. Oh, I cannot wait. I have a hard time. I'm having a hard time deciding which shade to get, fam. Ooh. Get the heck out, Pam. Yes. Tower Babies has a whole collection I love. Oh, really? Mariah Carey gave a shout out to JoJo. I got to find that. Yes, Mel Thompson did the modeling for the video, which is great. Yes, Mel did the uh, swatches for all the products. Allie, I want them all too. It's really a shame. I'm happy I saved my three flexible payment option <laughs> because I knew, I knew an order was coming. So I saved it. I saved it. Molly, I believe the date is the 5th? 10 p.m. Eastern, St no, PST? I could be wrong. I could, May 4th, 5th. 5th, May 5th, May 5th. Toya, I have to agree. Toya says, personally wish there were so many pinky colors of the lipsticks. I'm gonna, I'm assuming that the undertones make it so the deeper side of the spectrum, if worn, won't look ashy. However, we could only know by trying. That's why I really love Natasha Denona's Noah and Sammy, as well as the Gucci. Yeah, Tiffany, I think there was only one like nude from there that I thought I could wear that wouldn't look pinky peach. But this is all speculation, right, fam? We will only know until we try. We are hoping, however, that Wayne comes through. I mean, I would have been happy to model too. 
but I know I'm not the fanciest YouTuber, so I get it. Molly, technically you can, yes. So you could use sepia. I think that's one of the liners that he has in his collection to deepen it, but I would have liked to see a brown or beige. I think Lotus, is it Lotus or Lily? I think Lily is a shade that I have my eye on. The glosses look amazing, though. No worry, Kelly. What time is your shoulder without 2 p.m. Eastern Standard? I don't know what that is in mountain time. Hold on. Typing 2 p.m. Mountain Time is 4 p.m. No. Oh, it's two hours. You're two hours back. Is that correct in Mountain Time? Let me know, fam. Catching up on comments. Don't mind me. Okay. Thank you, Jen. So you're two hours forward. <laughs> v, I wonder maybe for now he's only able to have a smaller collection. Yes, I hope he will have more shades in the future. And by the way, you are totally fancy. Oh, thank you, friend. That is probably true. This is self-funded and very highly curated. What? Susan. 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 Jen. Wow. Sue, you need to stop. This is. Did you mean to do that? Was that supposed to be 50? Because I'll give you, I'll give it back. <laughs> did you put one more zero on, by accident? My goodness, I don't even know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, so, okay. That is going to the camera fund. It's going to the camera fund. Thank you so much. I'm hugging, I'm not hugging Susie too tight because of her rib cage. Okay, I don't want to crush it, but I am sending her a virtual hug. And I don't want this to go to waste, fam. Going to, because I've been, I've been trying to save for better equipment because you guys deserve the best. And while I understand that right now is fine, I always want to improve, right? Thank you so much. I can't even, I'm... I'm at loss for words. I really am. I really am. <laughs> Cece, right. A super chat. <laughs> that it is. That it is. My goodness. Whew. So, fam, this is what we're going to do. This, this, this really is inspiring me to, like, buckle down and really save for the cause, right? Because I want to make sure you guys get the best. And I also want to film more content. And I also want to film with a better with better equipment. I want to get lights because as much as I love to film in front of natural light, sometimes it's tough with it ever changing, so I have to get the artificial ones, which I'm not crazy about, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I want to get a boom mic. And yeah, Jen, my friend, thank you so much. Manitoba, Gl glitchy glam. Oh my goodness, I need to visit Manitoba. Thank you so much, Jen, you are so kind. Moonshine, Ms. Moonshine. I appreciate that moonshine, 30. And glitchy glam, you kill me, man. You guys are just so 
right? High rollers in here. Make it rain, make it rain, making it rain. I gotta visit everyone. You know, I'm so funny. Everyone's like, do a meetup. I'm like, I wanna do a meetup with everyone else. I wanna go on a date with you guys. Forget me. Forget me. So I need to make sure whatever neighborhood I'm in, I got to holla. Yes, new beginnings. Welcome. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Oof. Where were we? <laughs> my mind was just like, that was that's what happened to my head. We were talking about Wayne Goss lipsticks and, and glosses. <laughs> I believe so. Oh, I would love to come to the UK. That'll be a lot of fun. I I was to have supposed to whatchamacallit? I was supposed to have been better with booking workshops, but I think with everything that's happening nowadays, a lot of things are going virtual, so I might have to book a few things virtually. Okay, yes. Thank you, Tara. Thank you so much. Laura, I think that was intentional, but let me know. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I hope she got it back. I hope she got it back. Whatever Susie decides to give, listen. Okay, good. That's fine. I was going to say, I would have been really uncomfortable with that. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. That's too funny. Listen, whatever is in whatever you guys give me is going to the technology fund. Is going to the technology fund. Yes. Absolutely. Still very anything, listen, a dollar, okay, is generous. Especially during these times. And as I was saying, who knows what's going to happen, fam, with everything opening slowly and people feeling apprehensive about traveling again. Initially, I was thinking over the summer I would travel to do workshops, but I think it might have to be it might have to be all virtual for for a little bit. I do have a retreat in August, but I don't know, man, because it just seems that it's getting pushed. Like, I was supposed to have done a convention in June, but I couldn't do it because she moved it to August, and now I'm going to be in Bermuda. So I can't do the convention. Molly, I agree. I like online workshops as well. And quite frankly, it takes the stress out of wanting to meet your threshold, right? Because if you have to play, if usually you have to pay for your own travel and room board, room and board. And if you don't book enough people in said workshop, then you're losing money. And oh no. Are we back on? I'm so sorry about that. Excuse me, YouTube. As I was saying, yes, it'll be better to book stuff virtually so I don't have to worry about making money to cover the travel. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thank you. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You guys are so generous. I really like the online stuff. It's it's different because I'm so used to teaching live. But I think if people are open to learning virtually, 
then it could all be good, right? And also, I mean, eventually that's what someone would have to do. If you can't come to New York or I can't come to you, then you should not be able to take a class, right? I should be able to create a platform or something that you can attend, that you could experience something that I, that I would like to share. <gasps> Chris, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Hey, 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 I love it. I love it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for spending some of it with us, friend. Honored. Yes, that is tough, too. I mean, first of all, I actually filmed my... April favorites today and I spoke about how April just flew by where did it go and initially I thought it's gonna go by so slow I mean how can we pass a whole month like this and um, oh my goodness me don't worry about it Susan that's what I thought happened <laughs> I was like no not with what just happened. You're totally fine. Did you get it back? Let me know. Message me again. I want to make sure you got it back. Because we got to email YouTube. Bye, Bron. Bye, Bron123. You know what I'm saying, Allie? It did flew by. Flew. It did fly by like crazy. And I'm kind of upset with myself that I feel like I could have done a little bit more. I could have been a little more better with my productivity and just be better about making a plan. But I can't be too hard on myself because I feel for s <laughs> with all the time that I had, I mean, I haven't binge watched anything. I mean, I only took a nap during the day once. So I feel like I'm doing okay, but I have all these plans. Like I wanted to do more content, like fitness and stuff. And I wanted to do more makeup stuff, but sometimes I just get distracted and I, de I don't nail the agenda. I don't. Iris, Samantha Ravendahl had a good video about quarantine. It isn't a vacation. We were all forced into quarantine. Whatever we did or didn't do is fine. Correct? Absolutely. T, you're so sweet. Yes, I do all the makeup stuff, but I do find, thank you so much, I do find myself in pockets of, like, distraction where I just don't want to do anything. Do you guys feel like that where you're so overwhelmed and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to lay it out. <laughs> Alicia, I read that. I read this. That may help. Time is not wasted if you enjoyed yourself. That is true. Productivity is in the goal. Mental health is absolutely. Get so overwhelmed. But then I say, if you, I'm sure you know, if you don't know, Evelyn of the Internet, love her. She just had a video about <laughs> when you're putting stuff off and just cutting down the excuses. For, for instance, it took me a whole month to email my Equinox fam about doing Zoom. A whole month because I was just like, I don't know if they want to do it. Like everyone's doing Zoom class. And finally today I was like, who cares? You know what? Just send the email Blind copy everyone. Whoever wants to come will come. And everyone was happy about it. So I make up stuff in my own head. Like, for no reason. And again, part of me is happy that I waited because at the beginning of this, I feel everyone was just like overloading 
the space with Zoom classes, with virtual this and IG live that. And now we, I just stepped away. I was like, okay, I'm going to wait my turn because there's a lot going on. I mean, everyone was popping off IG live every day. I'm so sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you, T. I'm dropping the PayPal. Yes, it is true. YouTube takes 30% of Super Chats. And I mentioned this before, but I felt weird about it. Hi, Valerie. I'm so happy you made it. And we talked about Pat McGrath's drop for decadence. Absolutely. You know what I mean, Laurie? It's so much so, and I get it. It as a pers as a independent contractor, you have to hustle a lot. But I made sure that I reached out to the people I already know. I didn't want to put a Zoom on IG and invite everybody. I just feel that's like a lot. So I made sure that I reached out because I had emails from people that I reached out before who know me, who've taken my class before, I reached out to them first. And whoever they want to invite, they can invite. And I open the invitation to you guys because I know you guys. And if you want to join the class tomorrow, email me. My email will be down below or the PayPal email that I dropped in the comments. I'll send you the Zoom link and it's a suggested donation to me, suggested donation of 10 bucks. That's it. I'm not putting this on the Instagram. Yeah, exactly. Is it Colis or Colese? Colis? I love that name. Let me know if I'm messing that up. Not only that, people are having their Zooms hijacked, right? Exactly. Glitchy Glam, thank you so much again. You are Colise. Colise, thank you so much. I love your I love your photo. <laughs> yeah. 2020, the lost year. Did you see the next? No. I did not see that. Is that verse versus battle? Is that a thing? I was not aware. Let me know. When it comes to stuff like that, I am not. Yeah. Whatever Erica Badu is involved in. Jill as in Jill. Jill who? By the way. Sylvie, I want to come get you so you don't melt on the couch. Dana, what's up? Yes. We made sure that we covered, it is Jill Scott. Okay. Ah, thanks, Abba. Okay. When is that happening? When's the battle happening? Jill Scott is a monster too, though, fam. Erica Badu and Jill Scott. Zam! Ooh, that's, woo. that is a, woo, five, nine. It's in the calendar. Can't miss it. Let's take a long walk. Half deck. Oh, well, forget it. No worries. No worries, Susie. The squad let me know. And from my end, I'll make sure that you get it back. Yes, Carmel, they do have mutual, mutual respect. This is going to be sick, though. Oh, my gosh. Huh, I, yeah, Erica, I think Erica has, like, I, Jill Scott got a look, too, so. Woof. I don't know, man. Ooh. I'm leaning more Jill Scott just because 
yeah. I can't really put into words why. Oh, yes. You know, I have Susan Yude as well. Mixed with Penny Beige from the Gucci. I got Susan Yude from the Sephora sale. I was going between one other nude, but Susan Yude is good. Yeah, Dawn, Jill got some pipes. I mean, she could sing. Oh, thank you, V. We're figuring it out. We don't know when the next collab will be. But when it is, you'll know when the videos drop. Ayana, I, yeah, Jill's voice, I feel, dare I say, yeah, a little, I don't know if smoother is the right word to describe Jill's voice over Erica's voice. But you can let me know. Today I did buy something from SoCo Glam. They were two repurchases, the Soon Jung Two Times Barrier Cream and the Relief Toner. And I also got the Then I Met You Tidal Cream, which is a new drop for their line because I'm curious about it. But mainly I needed to replace my staples because I was running low on them. Michelle, right. Jill's vibes is like very smooth and very like chill, but it has like sizzle at the same time. It has impact at the same time. I agree. That's a good idea. We'll love to see a collab where you copy each other's makeup signature looks. That's great. Yes, I agree, Ayana. Jill's more melodic. Erica's all about the sass. Like, Jill Scott has mad sass, too. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? Yes, have you seen Jay Chappelle's block party? They sang together the Roots class. You got me. Yes, T did say that. She wrote the hook for that. <laughs> T saw Erica live, and I'll definitely never forget it. She's kooky. I believe it. You know, she's... I haven't seen her live, but I could definitely... From random clips that I have seen. Not great to assume, but you confirmed. Let me just say that. That is true. Okay, Erica has deeper lyrics and better grooves. Erica's more versatile. I love this. I love this. Naomi asked, did Fude Beauty have a sale this month? I don't know if they had a sale or they just did free shipping for a certain purchase threshold. But if Fude ever has a sale, fam, let us know, okay? <laughs> okay? Because did you all see those Coyuto Silver Fox brushes? One of them is like $300. I'm like, you're killing me. You're killing me. Chris, my Sephora order was supposed to be here today, but oh well. Rowena, I live in New Zealand and I love your videos. Thank you, my friend. I need to visit New Zealand. It looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Oh, I don't know, Lori. I haven't purchased the Tom Ford African Violet Quad. It looks gorgeous, but I'm holding off because I did buy from the recent Neiman Marcus sale the incandescent skin illuminating powder duo, <laughs> and it's gorgeous, let me tell you. Not surprised at all. NT, I did get the Dew Drop Foundation in two shades. I need to be stopped. And it's amazing. I have to finish editing that video. I really wanted to get it up tonight, but I'm, it's going to be up tomorrow night. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Victoria, my friend, thank you for the super ch ch chat chats. Monica B., let me tell you something. 
figuring out my dew drop shade i would if you have a shade that you know is a true match for you already from any current foundations you own i would email customer service because they were prompt in answering me back i try to figure it out on my own i chose seven and then they were like nine because i gave them the tom ford traces foundation tawny reference which is seven seven in the do in the dew drop is deeper than nine i go over this in the video but i would say the arm swatches are pretty on par and that's why they look nuts but that's why i like to do these foundation videos because if you are around my skin tone you get a better idea of what will be good on you simply because we can't try anything on right now <laughs> but i think it's a good incentive for customer service to be on that and just to be ready to answer those types of questions. Yeah, Monica B, let me know. But if you give them a shade, shade reference, they should be able to answer back with their equivalent in the dew drop if you want to if you want to buy it. Yeah, always mixing shades. It's a never-ending journey. But I have to say, the Dewdrop 9 is a pretty good match for me. Ooh, Tiffany got the Carolina Herrera at Harrods. I am this close, but I'm not going to buy it. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing what's on my mind, fam. The Suku brushes. Suku... I'm just very intrigued with, I know it's not new, they've been around for ages, but that powder brush, I'm, it's camera, we're saving for the camera. Oh, Ange, Beautylish seems to be the slowest thus far. I ordered a week ago at ETA is the end of the month. It might change. A lot of my estimated arrival times have changed as the days went, so maybe you'll get it sooner. Crossing fingers. Ooh, T, let's go back to Japan. And get some more. I'm trying to, I really should start a Japanese brush fund. Because if I ever do go to Japan, it's a wrap. Okay? I'm getting everything. Everything. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the shipping times is like insane. Insane. Really, T, I was on on this day two years ago. It's a sign, T. So you wanna go again? <laughs> what you doing next year? <laughs> Can I drop myself into your agenda now, please? <laughs> listen okay i'm gonna text you after this chat we gotta plan a duo chat and we gotta plan our Jap Jap japan trip friends trip absolutely you never know angie it might come sooner than you think but neiman marcus neiman marcus i don't know if it's because the products that I ordered initially came from different warehouses. Products that I had on one order came in separate boxes. And I'm like, the waste of it all. But I really don't know what's going on with that. They use a box this big to send me a brush this big. I don't know. Thank goodness it's paper. You know what I'm saying, Taya? I'm not complaining. Just an observation. Yeah, Iris, everyone is doing it. It's, I, it's just, I'm very curious. And I guess it's just because, depending on what you order, will be from whatever warehouse has that said item at the time of order. Ooh, one lip gloss in that big box. Hi, A.B., what's up?
what's up, friend? Welcome to the chat. Oh, yeah, T. That, they did that to me as well. You know what's so funny, too? They sent me the beauty samples in a box full of paper. Oh, my gosh, we're at an hour. Okay, I'll let you go soon. In a box full of paper where they sent the first order with my Chantecai bronzer I ordered Go at the time with no paper, and it broke. So you're gonna put all the paper in the beauty sample box and not with the box that has the makeup, the delicate makeup in it. Okay, got it. Yes, Audra, correct. Bye, Sophia. Happy making dinner. Yes, let's do some more stretching. I also wanna do a flexibility workshop. Stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. All right, fam. It is an hour. We did it. We did our stretching. We talked about Pat dropping, <laughs> Pat dropping decadence on Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard. We talked about Wayne Goss and his new lipstick line coming out on the 5th. Fifth, fifth, fifth. We talked about JoJo's new album. Yes. Thank you so much for the super chats from everyone. Anyone who sent me something, <sighs> you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Susie, I will take care of you and I will fix that. Hopefully I can from my end. But yes, we want you to get back that money, okay? Thank you, everyone. Stay safe. I'm going to update the description box now. If you want to join in my Zoom class tomorrow, barefoot body conditioning, you just need yourself in the mat. If you happen to have light weights, you could bring them. It's 11 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard. If you email me at the Alicia at kinky sweat nyc.com email, I could send you the Zoom link, Zoom link with password and suggested donation to 20. If you want to do the free stretch class at the Stretch It app, IG tomorrow, that is 2 p.m. Eastern Standard. That's free, half hour. What else? And that's it. Oh, we talked about Erica and Jill. We talked about a lot. We talked about a lot of things today, fam. This was a great chat. Thank you so much. Have a great rest, everyone. Have a great night. Be well. Stay safe. Remember, yes. And I'll thank you, Jen, for reminding me. I'll drop the Spotify playlist in the DB as well. So that will be, that will be updated shortly. I cannot thank you guys enough for just being the best squad anyone could ever ask for. Remember, I am a message away, and I apologize in advance if I don't get to you right away. But I definitely try to answer as many comments and questions as I can that come my way and yes T we'll figure out this live soon thank you everyone sending you big hugs stay safe be well and I will see you soon